Hydrophobic Decontamination Hydrophobicity Hydrophilius Ceramic Decontamination Clay What's it all mean? In this video, we're going to go over all that stuff and more. Check it out. Hey everyone, welcome to Custom Spray Mods. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your swells and ceramic coat your car. So, I've got a new daily driver. This is a Subaru Forester 2016 TS, so it's an STI. It's just like a normal Forester, except it's got STI suspension and handling and a few STI options inside the car. But it's the World Rally Blue. It looks great, but the previous owner didn't wash it correctly. It's got swells all over the car and it kind of takes a little bit away from the look of the blue. So I want to get it looking really good. So I'm going to buff it and ceramic coat it. Let's do it. Okay, so what is ceramic coating? Basically, ceramic coating is a sacrificial clear coat that goes on your car. It's like a paint sealant and it's gonna make your car look amazing and it's also gonna protect it from the elements. Uh, not much sticks to it, so uh, you get really good hydrophobic uh, water, beads off it like nothing else, so it's gonna make it a lot easier to clean your car. Now to put the ceramic coating on, it needs to go on a perfect paint surface. So we need to correct any swells or scratches in the paintwork before we put that on. So before we start correcting the paint, we need to do some decontamination. There's probably a fallout, there's a, you know, iron particles all over the car. You know, get rid of that before we start buffing. So before we get started, I'm gonna head over to VG Auto Paints, get all the stuff that I need to do the job. Let's go. VG Auto Paints is in Girraween, Sydney. They do everything to do with spray painting and panel beading. They also sell detailing products. And that's why I'm here today, because I want to detail and ceramic coat my car. I'm coming here to get all the stuff I need, and they've got it all. Not only can you get the products here, but you can get great advice, and they also do lessons teaching you how to apply ceramic coating. There's quite a few different products, and I normally like the CarPro C Quartz, but today I'm going to try the Nova Evo ceramic coating. I'm also going to use some concourse compound, I'm going to get a Shine Mate buffing machine, and also a clay mitt. Now that I've got everything I need, I can get started looking at the paint. As you can see, there are swells and scratches, and it might look good from far, but when you go up close, you can really notice these scratches, and it's really doing my head in. So I need to fix them and ceramic coat the car. The first step is to get your car nice and clean. To do that, I'm gonna start by cleaning the wheels, using wheel woolies, a lug nut brush, and a special bucket for wheel washing only. I'm gonna clean the wheels and then wash them off. Wheels are normally the dirtiest part of the car, so that's why I'd like to do them first. Now I'm gonna use the Auto Finesse Avalanche. It's one of my favorite snow foams. I'm gonna put it in my lance and spray it over the car, starting from the top, working my way down. I'm using the two bucket method. So while I'm waiting for the snow foam to do its job, I'm gonna fill up my buckets and clean my wash mitts. I like to use a microfiber wash mitt. It tends to pick up the dirt and dust rather than drag it along the surface of the paint, causing more swells. Now I'm going to wash the car from top to bottom, rinsing my wash mitt in a bucket of clean water with a grit guard. This is recommended as it keeps the pad nice and clean and avoids putting any more scratches in the paintwork. As you can see, the water is just sitting on the panel. This means there's absolutely no paint protection on the paint at all. If there was, then the water would be beading off. So this is a great way to know if you've got any coating on your paint at all. Now it's time for chemical decontamination. The Auto Finesse Iron Out is a great way to do that. There may be some fine iron particles left on the paint. So this is going to react with them and allow me to wash it off with the jet washer. It's just a bit of safety to make sure your paint is in its complete raw form. Now we need to do a mechanical decontamination. This means using clay. I've used clay discs before and clay bars, but the clay mitt is probably the easiest and a great effective way for removing contamination off your paint. So I'm going to use a fresh bucket of soap, a fresh bucket of water, and keep it lubricated as I go over the paint. At this stage, I'm going to dry the car using air and a super large microfiber drying towel. 
Okay, so I've washed the car, I've used a clay mitt to do the decontamination on the paint. I've also sprayed some deionizer to do some chemical decontamination. There is nothing on the paint to protect it at all, and you can really see the scratches now even more so. So I'm going to test the thickness of the paint. Uh, basically, I'm going to use a gauge, test the thickness, then I'll see if I've got the same clear coat around the rest of the car. Once I've done that, then I can do a test. Um, once I test a panel, then I'll know what pad and compound combination will work. Then I can go about doing the rest of the car the exact same way. So yeah, let's do it now. This device measures the depth of the paint. So it measures how thick the paint is back to the bare metal. The clear coat, paint and primer on my Subaru ranges from 135 to 115 and sometimes 150 in some places. Anything above 100 micron is a safe amount of clear coat to machine polish. Before I start buffing the car, I'm going to mask up all the rubbers and all the molds. I don't want to get compound on these and I don't want to accidentally damage them or make them shiny when they're not supposed to be. A bit of masking tape will protect those molds and plastics so you can buff without any worries. Now I'm going to do my test section. I'm going to mask off an area of a panel and start with a medium pad, a medium compound. I'm going to use Concourse Finesse and a Rupert's Wool buff pad. You may not need to use hard compound and a hard pad. So I'm going to start with medium and if I can get away with that, then I'll know I can use that on the rest of the car in just a one step. I'm using this pad on a Rupert's Bigfoot. This is a 21mm orbit and it's great for beginners and it's great for getting out swells. It's got a clutch so it'll slow down over the edges and is very hard to burn the paint. Once I take the tape off I can see the correction and I can see what the old paint looked like. So now I know with this pad and compound combination I can go two passes on the paint and I can correct the swells and get the paint looking really good. This is the most labor intensive part of the job, correcting the paint. This is the reason why detailers charge so much because it is labor intensive and it takes a long time. I'm working in small sections at a time and going left and right, up and down, about four times each pass. Then cleaning off the compound and checking the surface. After each pass, I'm cleaning my pad with an air blower. If you don't have an air blower and a compressor, you can use a brush. But it's important to clean your pads because you get built up residue and you can end up putting more scratches in your paint than you are correcting. I'm using two of these wool pads on the whole car and rotating one after each panel. This keeps them in a good state that keeps correcting the paint effectively. Now that I've corrected most of the car, the large panels, I need to get to the finer stuff. And for that, I'm going to need a different machine. Got myself a shine made, a little 12 mil polisher. Comes with two pads, it's like a medium and a soft. Instructions and warranty. This is the E. So yeah, that's a three inch pad with a 12 mil orbit. Great for small little areas. So I can't wait to use that bad boy. We're going to need a medium pad. Now that all the clear coat is corrected, I'm going to unmask the car and then I'll be ready to move on to my next step. Now I'm just going to use a plastic applicator and get, in, get rid of the compound from all my little nooks and crannies, like all the joints here. So I just shove it in because it's plastic and damage the paint. I'm just going to... Okay, so I've 
corrected the whole car. It's taken me about four and a half hours. Um, I used the yellow wool pad and the medium concourse compound. Um, so it's all done, I've unmasked it. Now I'm gonna clean the whole car with CarPro Eraser. Now this is a, uh, it's like a, um, no, it's an oil and polish cleaner. So it's gonna get rid of any residue that's left on the car. That's gonna help my ceramic coat stick as best it can. So I'm gonna go over the car, spray on, wipe off. I'm gonna use a super soft microfiber cloth, brand new one, um, and then that's gonna clean the car. Then I'll be ready for my ceramic coating. Okay, so here is the ceramic coat I'm going to put on the car. It's Nova Evo by Concourse. Um, and it's pretty well presented. Uh, so I've got the ceramic coat here. This is 30 mils. That's enough to do a whole car, probably more. Um, got our microfiber applicator cloths. Right there. Um, this is the applicator pad. That's a block with a foam edge on it. Um, and under here are some microfiber cloths. A microfiber cloth. And there you go, that's really nice. Concourse microfiber cloth. And we're ready to go. Okay, so the idea is to apply the ceramic coating in small sections, uh, let it haze up, then buff it off. Um, I'm going to buff it off with one rag and then try and buff off any high spots with another rag. So I'll keep doing that and then I'll rotate my rags so that I um, you know, have fresh rags when I'm buffing off the ceramic coat. So I'm going to start um, probably, I'm going to start from the roof and then work my way to the bonnet, um, the back and then to the sides. So let's do it. To apply the coating, you wrap the applicator pad around the applicator block. Then apply about two or three lines of the ceramic coating to the pad. Work the ceramic coating in up and down, left and right. This is basically getting it level. Once you've applied it, each ceramic coating reacts a little differently and also reacts differently to the weather. The Nova Evo has been formulated with slow evaporating solvents. This gives you ample time to address any high spots that you might have missed. It also makes it one of the most user-friendly coatings but with professional grade results. Some coatings need to be buffed after about 20 to 30 seconds. This one, because it's quite cold, I'm leaving it for about three minutes. I'm working on one part of the panel, then I'll move to a different part of the car, apply the coating there. Then by the time I'm finished applying that coating, I can come back to my first area that I applied it to and buff it off, and then continue that process around the whole car, overlapping each time. These coatings can be used on plastic and can also be used on glass. I'm going to put it on the few plastic mouldings in between my door panels and the roof. I'm also going to use it on my headlights and front grille, just to give it extra protection. To do this whole process took me about an hour and a half. That's going around the whole car, applying the ceramic coating. Once you've applied the coating to the whole car, it's important to not get it wet for at least eight hours. It needs to cure. You also don't want to wash your car for at least a week. Unlike most coatings, this one doesn't need to have any more product applied to the top of it. Once it's cured, not much is going to stick to it, whether it's polish or wax or coating. So leave it in that form for a few months before you apply anything on top. Well, there you go. The car was completely swirled. It had no paint protection on it whatsoever. So I washed the car, did the decontamination, um, corrected the paint, 
then applied the Nova Evo ceramic coating and now it's got up to three years of protection and it looks amazing. The car looks like it's wet, it's a nice gloss, it's uh, got a really deep shine. So I definitely recommend doing this to your own car, especially if you've got something that you really take pride in. Um, you get a lot of satisfaction out of doing it yourself, so it might take you a whole day and um, yeah, you, you might have to get uh, some products and equipment, but it's a skill that it's really great to have. You can um, yeah, get a lot of satisfaction out doing it yourself. Um, you can do your friend's car, your family's car, and um, yeah, they'll love you for it. So definitely ceramic coating, give it a go, prepare your paint right, and um, it'll be awesome. The next few videos, I'm going to be painting the wheels. I'm really not happy with the silver. I'm going to paint them um, a color. I'm going to paint the brakes. So that'll be coming up in the next episode. So stay tuned on more videos on the CSM Forester. See you next time.